welcome back to my channel it's been definitely a while and but i'm ready to come back it's been an intense start of the new year and at the at the end of 2023 i had to face some major ma major changes in my life and I needed some time to adjust and to uh, get back uh, with a smile and with some energy that I could put into this channel and this little thing that I'm doing here. So I just, um, there was a period that I just couldn't uh, find the energy and the strength to stay one hour in front of a camera and talk so i just preferred not doing it and come back when i felt like doing that again so this video is going to be very short and because i am quite late for uni and <laughs> it's like 7 a.m in the morning right now so just also this is why i'm talking with a lower tone of voice and i will try to not edit this video at all i mean not cut it edit yes a little bit but not cut it in between sections and just keep it short and easy to edit and post because i feel like the um, one of the things that kept me from doing this video in this period is also the amount of time that i was spending before editing and uh, adjusting my english mistakes and so on so i just feel like you know i'm not perfect i my english is not perfect either so i think you can deal with me with on that so yeah enough with the talking and let's get to what i've been knitting i won't talk about all my finished garment because uh i had like i stopped recording and but my knitting didn't stop at all so i have so many new projects to show you and maybe i will make a another video uh, talking about all my silent knits we can talk we can say that to them but for now just let's talk about what i'm knitting at the moment and i will start with a finish a finish <laughs> a finished garment that i finished like two days ago and it just it's now dry from blocking and it's beautiful This is a poppy sweater, poppy tea modified version. And you can see that this detail is like beautiful to me. It's, it, make, it makes this weather so polished and beautiful. And this is actually going to be my outfit for uni today. So I'll just try it for you and then keep it on. Maybe I will cut this one or not. I don't know. Okay, so for this one, I wanted a fitting uh, sweater to be like my spring near summer sweater. And here in Rome, we have like right now uh, it's nine degrees Celsius, but near lunch it's going to be 20 so i will be definitely definitely taking this off and i'm also scared because i put on long sleeves maybe not the best idea for today's climate it's you can see you can already see the sun coming up and it's going to be a beautiful day so maybe i will change for something a little bit less cold anyway back to the knitting this is the finished garment
as you can see i needed i needed it very short just like what it's what i like and i also did a little bit of a split hem and the back portion is a little bit uh, longer than the front portion also i'm very not used to have this fit this close fitting garments knitted garments but you know when it's when it starts to get warmer it's just not time anymore for those beautiful oversized weathers so yeah about the yarn uh, i used i don't have the label anyway i used um a yarn from uh, Lana Pascolo, which is an Italian small uh, farm in northern Italy, which uh, preserve a spe some species that are mostly uh, like to get in danger because they are small pieces, small um, species, and this one in particularly particularly is pecora brogna which is like this yes this piece that they um, carry and preserve and this one actually is uh, don't, I might be wrong and I will uh, you can check in the comment section I won't edit on the screen but it should be 50% uh, alpaca, 30% pecora brogna and 30% silk. So you can see that it has a lot of drape, this garment, and it also makes the perfect spring sweater, if I have to say. Um, yeah, uh, it took me a, a while to finish this one, um, mostly because I was in... Um, exam i had this huge exam period for like three months and for uh, the most part uh, i studied at uni and not at, and not at home so i just uh, it wasn't doable to bring my knits at uni to study with my friends also because i um i had no time to, to knit rather than when i'm studying at home i just during lunch break, break or when I have some um, rest period be in between study sessions, I can knit. But yeah, um, when I'm sorry, the sun is okay. When I'm uh, studying with my friends at uni, I just don't have that time, so I I need less. Uh, anyway. This is actually it, I think, for this project. I needed the XS, the first size, in Petit Knits um, pattern. I don't always go for the smaller size. I sometimes go for the S, the second size, the S usually. But, uh, you know, this time I wanted to um, have a fitted garment so I just went for it and it is actually perfect. I also didn't uh, need some very long sleeves, but uh, you know, it goes with the fact that I want this to be, <laughs> I'm moving <laughs> uh, to avoid the sun, but the sun just wants to hit my face. So I'll just go with it. Uh, I wanted to um, fit in with the purpose of this weather to be a more uh, springish sweater, so a normal length sleeve would is going to be a lot better than a longer one. So yeah, that's what I did. And just one more moment. Look how beautiful this sleeve is. It's beautiful. I want to make another one, and because it's just like that basic sweater that everyone needs in their wardrobe. Anyway, I'm just skipping it. So, 
I have uh, two whips to talk about today and as I said before these are my current whips and there were many other finished objects <laughs> but uh, I don't have time for, the, for, for them today so I'll just start with my most recent uh, project whip and you won't, won't be able to tell what it is but this one is going to be a jacket from Tirol I don't know how to say it in English from Tirolo, Südtirol and also North Tirol which is a region in the northern part of Italy it's where the Dolomiti are to give you some in the Alps and I'm sorry okay and I uh, have a personal I'm very linked to that region for my personal history and I wanted to make this garment for a long time and now I'm doing it so I will show you the pattern because it's not very clear from this piece it's knitted in pieces and in it's all over moss stitch and I'm using this yarn here which is perfect for the project I bought it on purpose and it's Alpina from Lana Grossa here which it should be a German company not sure about that but it's 100 grams for skein 80% virgin wool and 20% polyamide and it <laughs> you can see that it's the perfect yarn for this project and I bought too many of the skeins like 10 skeins of the grey one and 3 of the green one and the green one I will, I will only uh, use to make a crochet border so I don't know, maybe I I bought it thinking that it was 50 gram skein for each 50 gram each skein but it is actually 100 gram so I will have plenty left over I don't mind because I love this this grey color it's pretty okay it's very uh, basic it's a very basic color and I will totally wear it with on some other garment but anyway I am doing this one here this jacket here and this one this the sample is in mohair but I wanted the classic uh, Tiroler jacket more close to this one this one is the the, the most uh, traditional one but I was this feels like a, a, it's a bit uh, more unisex while this one is more cropped is more cropped here and it has this beautiful like puff shoulders which I really love and in general I like the fit a lot better and this sorry I didn't mention but this one is a booklet from Lana Grossa which I bought on this website here Filati uh, which it's an Italian word but I think the shop is the official shop for Lana Grossa which is German too <laughs> so yeah and it's in German but I'm not scared I am trying to translate it in English because yeah funny story I cannot uh, read Italian written knitting patterns because I don't know the 
vocabulary. I only know the, I only know the English vocabulary for knitting and maybe a little bit of Norwegian <laughs> because I followed before some patterns in Norwegian and I got the hang of it. But yeah, I cannot read Italian uh, patterns. Funny story, but I can, I'm trying to read an, a German one. So I don't know if I will try to not knit this one in pieces because this is going to be the back. I'm right here at the moment on the back, of course. Okay, so I'll be going up here, uh, shaping the neckline, like it's going to be on the back. And then it says to start the two front pieces separately, but maybe I can just pick up stitches like I'm used to and it won't change anything. I guess I can do that. And then just pick up uh, stitches also for the sleeves. And that way I won't have to sew so much. I guess I will still have to close up, close down here, but it's better than to close everything up. And yeah, this is it. It's not much to show right now, but very, I'm very, I am enjoying this one so much. And I also love this, um, how the moss stitch is going, going, yes. And how stretchy and squishy this fabric is. So anyway, I'm very late for uni, so I have to rush a, bit, a little bit. The next and last uh, project that I'm showing today is my Amy Sleepover, which is a pattern that if you follow Inga here, which you probably are if you're watching my video, um, it's a pattern that she needed like three times now, and I always wanted to knit it but it's contained in a booklet from Sunness Garn, which I didn't bring with me, but it's a booklet called... Maybe I have it here, just one second. I'm not going to cut it. No, I tried, but I don't have it near me. I don't know, maybe it's in the living room. Anyway. Um this is a okay pattern from the booklet and it's a sleepover. It's going to be this is the back and I finished. This is going to be the front. The front is going to go down here, then it's going to be open on the sides, and I'll knit some strands, some um, yes ties here it will close on the side with some ties and then it's going to have this huge um, high neck in ribbing so I went for the black which is the color that the original sample in the booklet uses because I wanted this to be very elegant and I loved the that one sample. As for the yarn, I went for the suggested yarn, which is Sunday, and it is paired with a mohair. So what happens is that to buy the booklet, you have to buy yarn for a pattern in the booklet. So I had to buy Sunless Girl Sunday for this one, but I was fortunate enough to just have to buy the Sunday and not the mohair together because I already had like, I have many uh, black mohair. This sun is just ruined everything. I have uh, many skeins of black mohair in my stash from drops. And I just, it was a pity to have to buy more black mohair 
rather than using what I had in stash. So I could do that. And I am actually using a super basic uh, drops kid silk mohair paired with Sunday for this project. It's um, been a while since I started this one and I don't I don't love purling as much as I love knitting and I feel like it um, slows a lot it slows down a lot my project so maybe that's why this one didn't got finished so early I mean I started this like three weeks ago so it's it's fine but I'm usually a bit uh, faster with minutes so yeah anyway that's it for this video I hope to see you very soon maybe once a week if I keep doing these short videos and I, I don't want to give you guys many yeah, too many uh, information about my future with this podcast because I, I am really living day by day right now but I was very happy to come back and to chat a little bit with you guys and I will see you hopefully soon I know that the YouTube algorithm won't like this uh, long pause between <laughs> one video and another one but I'm doing this mostly for me and not for the numbers I mean I'm happy if like there is just one person on the other side which is uh, talking like listening to me talking it's a little bit there is interaction but if there is like only one person on the other side I'm happy if there are more I'm happier and yeah that's the mindset in which I will be uh, recording these videos so I hope you don't mind the fact that it won't be perfect perfectly edited but I hope it will still be good so I wish you a wonderful day. I have to run to uni, but yeah.